Hey friends, we are at XLXC right now. Look at all the people. Holy crap. Um, what is what is XLXC? Show them your name tag. Show them your name tag. Hey, we're here. We're all here. We're representing Shulik. So we uh, won the Shulik Leader Scholarship. Um, it's the most prestigious scholarship for uh, Canadians wanting to pursue um, STEM in, in university. And so there's a conference that was bringing together all of the uh, Shulik leaders from Alberta and Saskatchewan, yeah, Saskatchewan yeah. and some from BC. So we're just here today. It's going to be fun. Um, Saskatchewan engineering Shulik leader, and I'm in my third year of mechanical engineering. Awesome. Yeah. And as Ola said, I'm Alana. I'm a second year in natural sciences at the University of Calgary. As we welcome you to the University of Calgary, we would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional lands and territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta. Now, let's see who we have in the crowd. How many of our current Shulik leaders do we have? Yeah, let's hear it! <laughs> he started his career as a biology professor specializing in ecology at the University of Calgary. Dr. McCauley then spent time at the University of California in Santa Barbara before returning to the UFC in 2011 to become Vice President of Research um, and then becoming President and Vice Chancellor in 2019. Please help me welcome Dr. McCauley. Again, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I've had a long standing relationship with the University of Calgary. I've been a professor for more than 35 years, but I was hired when I was 12 years old. I'm just looking at it. It's really important to acknowledge that up front. And again, my warmest congratulations to each of you uh, for becoming uh, and being a Shulik leader. You are among the leaders of the next generation of science and engineering. And this is a very, very important piece that I want to address a little bit in my opening comments. Mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate to have Shu uh, tell us as a uh, who works with me quite closely and tells me what's going on at the university that you know, people don't usually tell me about, which is always really good. What individuals are facing in different countries, and then you can use your incredible minds to think about how you can improve the world around those people with them. So anyway, thank you so much for asking me to come and drop in, provide welcome remarks. I will stop there, and uh, hopefully we can, you can get on with having some fun. So next up we have Elian. He is a fourth year student of engineering here at the UFC. And fun fact, he's a pilot, and he's one of our Shulik captains last year for Calgary. So, to introduce myself, my name is Elian. I'm a 2019 Shulik leader here at the University of Calgary. Um, and I'm the president and co-founder of Calgary to Space, which is University of Calgary's satellite development team. We have a super exciting mission. We're launching the university's first student spacecraft um, in the next year or two. And I'm excited to tell you all about it today. Who here has heard the saying, come on, it's not rocket science. It's easy, right? Yeah. Um, but I've always been wondering, you know, does it take a rocket scientist type person, a genius or a prodigy, um, to work on spacecraft? And I don't think this is the case. And there's been studies done on this, and they found that rocket scientists and brain surgeons as well are no smarter than any one of us has. For uh, coming back, I hope you enjoyed your tours. We are live nationally right now, so I'd like to introduce myself to David Goodman. I have the pleasure of serving as the executive director for Shulik Leader Scholarships, and it is amazing to be back in person with everyone at SLXCA 2022. First definition for it, uh, it is being creative and finding innovative solutions. I think of it as applied creativity. Um. I'm an American journalist and an educator, vice chair of Creative Commons Advisory Council. I don't know if you know what Creative Commons is, but I would recommend that you check it out. It is the uh, it's the infrastructure behind the open web. What's going on in your typical high school or typical college? You get one chance to take the test, and if you do poorly, that's it. You do poorly. So that never happened in my classes. 
If you didn't do it well the first time, well, no problem, you just do it again. And I can tell you it worked in all of those classes. And with the birth of my daughters, this is Susan, Janet, and Anne. Susan is the CEO of YouTube. Um, Janet is a professor of pediatrics at University of California, San Francisco, where she focuses on the obesity epidemic in children. My third daughter is Anne, and Anne is the founder of 23andMe, the personal genetics company. So this is pictures of the three of them now. My main goal for them when they were born, as I said, was to be independent thinkers. That was it. I had no other goal. And so I taught them really early to be independent thinkers. I taught them to do things in the kitchen first, how to make food for themselves, how to, um, how to ride their bikes really early. It's in the leader. Okay, so you have a lot of confidence in the leader. But a great leader inspires people to have confidence in themselves. Um, what's up? Yeah, hello. Thank you for the very inspiring presentation, Ms. Wuziski. Uh, my name is Shupatal and I'm a Shuik leader at the University of Calgary. And my question was just that you've been a mentor and a guru for uh, so many successful people that you've written in your book. And I'm sure many of them must come back to you and tell you, maybe share some of those experiences or advice that you've given them over the past year. Like, you touched on the importance of grit for, for Angela Duckworth and Guy Kawasaki, how collaboration is key. So I was just wondering if you'd mind sharing some of those key characteristics or advice they've told you that have, I guess, led them to where they are today. Um, maybe you'd like highlight a key one. Well, I have many students that say, that tell me that the way that I taught in the class and the way that I modeled um, the, the ability to come up with ideas and then to believe in yourself made a big difference to them. I want to wish you all great success uh, in the year ahead. Um, we're, we're so happy to see you in person and we hope you get a lot out of today. Okay friends, we are back at it again. We just finished the official Schulich Leader event and now we're at the post event. We're just networking, talking with others. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> Introduce yourself here. Okay, hi, I'm Cole Roberts. Um, I'm a third year electrical engineering student at the University of Calgary. Um, and I'm a 2020 Schulich Leader, just kicking it at SLXCA 2022. Uh, highlight of the day so far is just been chatting with new people from across Canada, uh, meeting new people, meeting some familiar faces, and just just chatting about life, uh, our goals and aspirations, our experiences, and you know what makes us tick. So that's my that's my highlight so far. Yeah. So I'm uh, my name is Thomas Walter. I'm a 2021 Schulich leader at the University of Alberta. Uh, I'm doing uh, mechanical engineering right now. The, the conference was really great. I think a lot of the uh, the things I enjoyed the most about it was doing was the, the last speech about a uh, keynote speech which was about learning and how how we learn best through creativity and I think that's really applicable to my own life and um, just my future and the people I work with. You should, you should, you should share what you just said because I think it was very very resonating with all of us. It resonated with me, it resonated with Jenna, it resonated with Milana. Basically she said that as like a teacher from an inspirational mood. Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it, like, it just seems too good to be true. Anna, uh, same as Caleb, honestly, or just to clarify, our idea, it's a law that allows any criminal to, uh, allow, to show their memories to prove they were not at the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Hunef, I am first year computer science at the University of Alberta. And I think the main the main highlight of the event was that we got to we got to get together with each other and like meet meet a lot of people from different backgrounds, so that was really good. For me it was uh, mostly meeting people. Yeah, it was my first time being at this event and uh, yeah, everyone here is so great. You're like surrounded by so many like-minded people yeah. and uh, everyone kind of has a vision for what they want to do in the future. So it's nice to kind of just share your ideas and stuff. And uh, Esther was great. It was amazing to hear her story and uh, yeah. So it's, guys, guys, it's crazy. My name is Shu. His name is Shu. Shub? Shub? Yes. Shub. Shub. Yep. Shub. So, who are you Shu? 
I'm Shil. <laughs> no, no, I, so I'm I'm Shil Clitter from 23. I'm okay. studying at University of Alberta doing computer engineering. Currently in my third year. And highlight of the event. I loved Esther giving that speech the talk. And she has so many things on her plate. I know. And huge success. I mean, it's just literally inspiring how remarkable her work is. That she's taking on these products for nonprofit organizations. And you come out of there, you feel so positive. And she has the ability to radiate that positive energy everywhere. I love that. Yeah, you guys should Google her if you don't know who she is. Esther Wojcicki.